Hi there, this is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Azure AD logs. What are the types of logs and how you can export it? What are the options to export it? How to export it to Azure Monitor? What are the live logs option in Azure AD? And what are the application logs option in Azure AD? Where you can analyze logs using KQL queries, etc, etc. And even licensing requirements for exporting the logs. All these are covered word in this video so don't skip it let's go ahead and watch it out let's look into azure ad logs and how to export that into azure monitor using log analytics workspace and we will see licensing requirements and also how to create log analytics workspace let's go to the next slide let's quickly look into the basics of azure ad logs azure ad logs enable you to assess many aspects including troubleshooting forensic analysis of your azure ad tenant it is very important to keep the azure ad logs somewhere for many months or more maybe there's a standard that your organization follows or there could be a regulatory requirement to keep these logs so as per that you need to keep azure active directory logs so what are the permissions required to check the Azure Active Directory logs? Reports Reader, Security Reader, Security Administrator, Global Reader, Global Administrator. If you have any one of these roles, then you would be able to check the Azure AD logs such as sign in logs audit logs provisioning logs etc now let's go to the next slide let's quickly look into types of azure ad logs this is just a subset of logs audit logs are there sign in logs are there a various kind of activity logs are there risk detection and azure ad identity protection logs are there so these are just few logs but microsoft is continuously adding new logs into azure active directory logs list as you can see you can look into usage and insights within azure active directory and then go to azure ad application activities and check whether there is any users logging into bing using azure ad credentials or not same for microsoft edge azure portal onedrive sync engine all the other applications which have which has a service principle associated with azure active directory i have shared an example for Bing sign-in events so you can see over here on this particular date some user logged into Bing using Azure AD credentials so this would be very useful for troubleshooting and forensic kind of scenarios now let's go to the next slide what are the licensing and other requirements to export Azure AD logs to Azure monitor or log analytics of course Azure subscription is required to have log Log analytics workspace to export the logs you need minimum azure ad premium p1 or p2 license the required permissions access permissions global administrator or security administrator access is required within that particular azure ad tenant to complete this task log analytics workspace is required and you have you need to have a subscription to create log analytics workspace if you don't have one so you can see this is the licensing requirement specifically mentioned in the diagnostic settings configuration page itself let's go to the next slide then let's check the list of azure ad logs categories basically these are the logs categories within azure active directory you can see there are different types of logs audit logs sign in logs non interactive user sign in logs service principle sign in logs managed identity sign in logs provisioning logs adfs sign in logs risky users logs user risk events log network access traffic logs last four logs are under preview so when i am creating this when i am recording this video if your tenant is not in private preview or public preview if your tenant is not flighted for the preview then you won't be able to export these logs to azure monitor to azure monitor or log analytics workspace now let's look into the demo and see how this all works let's look at the process to export azure ad logs to azure monitor or log analytics workspace first of all you need to open azure active directory from azure portal then go to diagnostic settings 
from diagnostic settings you would be able to see an option called add diagnostic settings so over here diagnostic settings name you have to provide and now what are the log categories you need to export into destination that you need to select so audit logs sign in logs non interactive sign in logs service principle logs etc the last four or five logs are basically in preview so probably even if you add these logs and export these into diagnostic settings and log analytics workspace these won't be shown in the logs at the moment because our tenant is not in preview it is a private preview setting probably in future once it is available for all it will be log analytics and this particular workspace automatically and let's check licensing requirements p1 or p2 licenses are required p1 license also works even p2 license works so if you have ems e5 kind of licenses or microsoft e3 or e5 licenses that is good going to work well for exporting the sign in logs etc send to log analytics workspace that is the option i'm going to select to export azure ad logs to azure monitor so you need to select the subscription and then log analytics workspace if you don't have access to subscription or if you don't have a subscription you need to get a subscription so you have an option to create a trial subscription and i have a video about that i will link that video to this video so i already have a trial subscription as you can see over here and i have access to this subscription i have full access so i don't have any access issue that is why it shows correctly in the drop down option now let's search for log analytics workspace and create a workspace if you don't have one you can search for log analytics workspaces that is the one you need to click once you open that you can click on the create button plus create button and then the screen will come up now over here you can create a resource group if you want new resource group is also fine it is just a container so you don't need to worry about that you need to provide instance name so you can say ad logs or something like that and then you need to select the region from the drop down menu i'm going to select central india where my all other resources are already there if your other resources are in us east or us east 2 then you can select those azure data centers then you need to put the tags if you want i recommend to put the tags and then you can review and create this log analytics workspace once you create that you can go back the creation process is going on might take one or two minutes or less than that you just need to close that discard it and create a diagnostic settings again by clicking on okay this is done now let's go back and click on that and then provide a name select all the logs and select the destination and you can see ad logs over there the new workspace which we created just now you can enter the name and then click on save to create this diagnostic settings save it that's it all these category of logs will be sent to new diagnostic settings log analytics workspace as you can see over here you need to have appropriate access to log analytics workspace as well so this is a different tenant as you can see over here and over here as well i'm sending the diagnostics to device mgmt log analytics workspace and if you want to edit the existing log files you can click on edit settings over here and select sign in logs for example at the moment there's no data in this log analytics workspace because most of these are preview and my tenant is not in preview so that is why but i have a p1 license over here so it's not a licensing issue from my perspective so if i save this the edits will get saved and these logs will also be sent to this log analytics workspace under the subscription let's go over here and quickly check the licensing part over here all products if i go to all products you can see enterprise mobility e5 over here click on that and you can see active directory plan 2 plan 1 all those premium p1 premium p2 all those licenses are already available in this tenant you don't have licensing issue 
if you have either p1 or p2 license let's click on check with log analytics workspace okay so this is the log analytics workspace which we are sending the data and if i go over here and check for azure active directory there's no azure active directory tables over here this is tables right there's no active directory related tables but on my another tenant you can see ad non-interactive user login etc etc all these azure ad related log files are getting populated over there but not in the previous tenant over here because it is going to take some time to populate these logs from azure ad to azure monitor now let's look into some of the queries which are available over here some of the data right log analytics it has four tables one is ad non-interactive user sign in log the second one is audit logs third one is sign in logs fourth one is usage logs okay, now let's look at each logs quickly these are kql queries and if you run one query you can see a lot of data is available with the latest information and you can see the source details and all the other details over here and sign in activity details category non-interactive all those details are here and what is happening app display name right app id all those details if you scroll down lot of details are available here if you want to filter on some of the columns what you can do is you can use where the column name token issuer type let's type token issuer type okay and equal to and then let's put a codes over there and then press azure ad it will filter on token issued by azure ad that is the filter we are going to use okay now click on run what will happen is it will only show the azure ad filter now i'm going to use another filter with another column that is identity identity equal to the username as you can see over here the username let's do that and then click on the run and remember that this shows only last 24 hours this is the filter by default on you can change it to something like last 30 minutes or 48 hours three days even custom is possible now let's run the this again if you look at over here number of sign in is reduced now it was a long list before now it is filtering only on the identity it's called krishna and maybe you can put location also if you want and location equal to in this is the one i'm looking for in if i click on run it will show that one let's go to the next one audit logs the audit logs if you run you would be able to see these are the audit logs if you expand this you would be able to see what is happening user management user started registration of windows mobile phone sms okay some user started registration on mobile phone sms that is the result description you can see in the audit logs log services and those are the details you can see over here under audit logs all these audit logs are for the same so that is to check the audit logs as you can see this is the query we are using and similar to last example we can add additional filtering options etc and then you can put the output also if you want now let's look in to the third table over here that is sign in logs so sign in logs will tell you what are the sign in activity happening over here for your tenant due to configuration change made by administrator etc etc so all those details are available here all these are kind of very interesting and useful for troubleshooting scenarios etc it shows the details over here which user did that and kind of stuff like that then let's go to the usage over here so if i click on usage this is deprecated field so you don't need to look into it because it is already deprecated we have added all these categories but only few of them are showing because that is what available for now for this particular tenant especially these ones are available only for the preview tenants probably this is a private preview going on and these are available only for 
preview tenants after Microsoft will release this to all the tenants. And if you want to check audit logs, sign in events from here, you can check that also from Azure Active Directory directly. The live information will be shown here in audit logs and sign in logs over here. And then it will send to diagnostics and log analytics Azure monitor. For the live troubleshooting, you can refer to this, but if you want to get some historical data etc etc you can go to log analytics but audit logs you can see over here and then sign in logs directly see from here so that was all about sending the azure ad logs to log analytics using diagnostic settings okay this is for historical things this is for live now that you have seen all the details about azure ad logs how to export it, how to look into live logs, how to export it to Azure Monitor and compare it with all the other logs and how to troubleshoot in comparison with other logs such as Microsoft Defender logs, etc, etc using Azure Monitor. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.